said, it is 4.06, and uh, I, I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, it is 4.07 p.m., Monday, September the 13th, and this is the Commission on African American History, and uh, I'll ask Ms. Sylvia if she'll do the roll call. Evelyn, if I could just interrupt you, since you already know you don't have a quorum, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a roll call until you get a quorum. Okay. Um, and we have one person. I'm sorry. Commission. Well, really? One more person. I didn't so understand. It's one more person on the line. So is that how many? Four? Do you have? Do you have six people on the line that are voting members? Two, three, four, five. We just have five so far. Okay. Um, and so you need six, I think. Um, I would just hold off until um, you got Miss Islam on the meeting. She is your item number D under updates on projects. Um, just to keep her from being held up, I would just recognize her to do her presentation and then come back to your roll call and your minutes. And then Ms. Islam could be excused from the meeting. So my apologies. I was kind of waiting for the aircraft to blow over. Hopefully it won't. Yeah, come I had up. a plane go flying over me. That's why I, I had to mute it. <laughs> <laughs> so good afternoon again, and good afternoon, Miss Feller. Uh, and and following Miss Penny's lead, because we do not have a quorum at this time, we're just going to move down to um, updates on projects number. I mean, letter D. And um, I'll just turn the floor over to Ms. Spella. Got us on mute. Ms. Speller, can you hear, hear us? Hello? I'll try to send her a message. She's trying to connect again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I, I was able to hear you all, and uh, what I understand is that you all do not have a quorum, so you're not able to vote on anything. I was invited uh, to the meeting by Ms. Um, Sidberry, so uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what uh, we would like to speak about other than the uh, the marker for Dr. Hubert Eaton Sr. And um, in, uh, I think it was February or March that I uh, sent a request uh, by email to city council as well as I spoke with Ms. Penny Sibir regarding um, a marker on the civil rights trail honoring Dr. Hubert Eaton Sr. So I'm not sure where I go from here as far as a site and location uh, before I um, decided to submit 
anything to the state. I wanted to first secure a location, and I'm not sure whether at this late date whether I can still submit or we can submit um, the research or whatever the requirements are uh, to, for a marker to satisfy their requirements because there are requirements uh, that must be met um, with the North Carolina Civil Rights Trail. Um, Evelyn, I'm sorry, this is Penny. Uh, Ms. Feller, you submitted a letter, yes you did, and your letter was not asking for a site. You asked for a letter of support or a recommendation for the commission to go along with the submittal to the state. The commission role is not to find a location. Um, the commission role is to work with you as the applicant with the state on processing a request for a marker. So I think it needs to be clear on the role of the commission. If the commission wants to take the lead um, and work with you, then that's fine. They can appoint a committee to go out and find a location. But the letter and the conversation and the request that came into the city was, you felt, you said the state was willing to do such a marker and a location needed to be found. But I don't think it was the commission's role to find the actual location. There would have to be some research and some documentation that we would have to pull together to support um, whatever the request is. And I think the state is, is starting to accept requests now um, due to the pandemic. pandemic. They've been a little slow with that. But I think it needs to be clear on the vehicle for such a request, if that makes any sense. No. The, uh clarify what I understood uh, about that. Um, my request was made to city council. That is and correct. And Councilman Bart was the only one. I sent one to uh, the new uh, city manager, the mayor, and all of the city councilmen. And right. somehow they must have passed it on. And I sent you a copy. I That's did not correct. send a That's copy correct. That's to correct. the uh, African American Commission, right. I got you a response it. back uh, when you, from Miss Sidberry. Right, uh, I Sidberry. assume that's your daughter. I'm not sure no, no, because no, not my daughter. we Wait, didn't it's, formally it's, it's, introduce ourselves as far right. as who we were related to. So, right. that, uh, in my request to the city councilman, I had asked for a site or location, but I definitely uh, need the support of the city of Wilmington and its citizens uh, as well, you know, because it's an honor uh, for the city and the right. people we, that live here. So right. I we didn't make a direct um, appeal to the African American uh, Commission. I was, uh, I didn't know the route. So that's why I approached city council so that they could direct me into which way to to go right and so the direction is miss feller you submitted it to the mayor and council who submitted it to me as city clerk because it needs to fall under the umbrella of the commission on african-american history the commission on african-american history works or works under city council city of council appointed this commission to do just what you're asking so it's in the right location yes you sent it to the mayor and council and the manager, but all of them sent it to me as city clerk so it could come to this commission for consideration. And the member of the commission that reached out oh, to you was, was Kamika Sidbury. Ma'am? Hello? Yes, ma'am, can you not hear us? Evelyn, you might. Ms. Feller, to reach out to her. I think she's gotten disconnected again. Ms. Feller, okay. Hello. Can you hear us? So she's going to have to call back in.
So at this point, we still don't have a form. Uh, Uh huh. So, how many people are we missing? One more to make a quorum. So, uh, Miss Miss Kamika Sibiri, mm -hmm. would you be able to reach back out to Miss Fella? And I'm, uh, I'm out of call about, but this okay. This is why I asked Miss Fella. And, Mr. Davis, hello. And hello, hi, how you doing? And how you doing, Mr. Black? And hey. so, and, well, hello, everybody. And so, I didn't understand to ask. And so, I it was too many questions, and I didn't have the answers. So that's why I think this is she's coming back right now, Miss Feller. Yes. Okay. And so I was just explaining it to the committee. Uh, and so when we had a conversation, it was a very good, diverse conversation, and it was robust. And it was like, I had more questions after the conversation than answers. So this is why instead of us, like instead of me taking information back, I asked Ms. Feller to come today. So then we can all understand what the need is, what is wanted, and then how can we work together to do what is necessary. And so she's back on. Right, and I, and I get that, but I think the disconnect is she the process so that's what miss penny was trying to explain um and then for keeping in mind the process to doing projects kind of changed a little bit and that's why it fell back to the commission on african-american history so um miss fella can you hear us now yeah i hear you and i understand uh well what you're saying uh-huh mm-hmm so, I, and then I guess it needed to be a clarification on what you are asking. Okay, the, uh, my question is, uh, if the uh, Civil Rights Trail where that they, they will pay for the marker in the city, who do I go to as far as city property to place the marker on you know where do i place where do we place the marker on city property i'm not sure how that process works so in order to uh process the research or the requirements from the city uh the civil rights uh trail we first need to secure a location and site. Uh, in that application, they do uh, make recommendations as to where a marker should be placed. But first of all, before we get to that part of it, I wanted to make sure whether this is something that the city supports. Otherwise, it would not be, you know, uh, valid for me to uh, pursue or continue on, you know, trying to um, to uh, solicit help or support if the city does not support a location. So, Ms. Speller, as far as a locate, so this is what the, the Commission on African American History does. But I guess what Ms. Penny was asking if there was a particular site that you knew of that the marker could be placed at? On city property or private property? On city property. Like, for instance, a street, a corner. Uh, 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 and, and some people, what I've known in the past is look for... Um, a place where that person or a thing may have interacted the majority of their lifetime with. And um, that's what the criterion is for the Civil Rights Trail. That's why it's called a Civil Rights Trail, because they, uh, the Civil Rights Trail presence is to show advocacy for that uh, civil rights activist who advocated justice and equality 
for the community. Where did they fight their battles? That is one of the uh, uh, questions that is on that application. And if I was a little more computer uh, uh, literate about things, I would have, you know, submitted the app, the North Carolina Civil Rights Trail, because the outline is very, is brief, and uh, then we could be looking at each item uh, number and say, well, it would be most suitable here. So my suggestion was somewhere along Prince's Play Street somewhere along around City Hall or the courthouse because that's where he fought his civil rights uh, battles at. So are you saying Princess Street or Princess Place Drive? No, Princess Street where uh, New Hanover County Courthouse or City Hall. That's where Dr. Hubert Eaton Sr. fought his battle. So are you saying around, so? Around that area, maybe Chestnut. Um, and see, that's something that I would have to research, uh, you know, look into, you know, a little bit closer because I know the register of deeds, though, that office changed a lot. You know, one time it was over there by the library, then it moved out uh, New Center Drive, and then, uh, not New Center, but um, um, what is that? Over there, off of College Road, and then now uh, one office is back on Chestnut Street. So he had to travel uh, that area in order to get um, the things accomplished that he did accomplish in our um in our city as well as uh, within the United States. Okay, so at this point, you're asking, your ask is for the commission to help place a marker for the Civil Rights Trail on behalf mm -hmm. of you? Is that what I'm- On asking? behalf. Do you guys want a list of sites, locations, what can be on the street? That that would be helpful. All right, so um, I'm on two computers. So we got protest rally and sit-in site, birthplace, childhood homes, and primary residence of civil rights icon, churches and spaces where people organize, spaces and places where civil rights icons visited, stayed, and spoke, educational institutions, including primary schools, secondary high schools and colleges and universities where applicable, legal slash courthouses, for example, the birthplace of a person who was critical to establishing civil rights legislation or a courthouse where a significant civil rights era case was decided on. Um, this is on the civil rights trail. So where can what can be on the trail? So that's what they have as far as sites. So civil rights trail, the North Carolina civil rights trail. So I don't, I, I'm not seeing the application. Where would I go to see the application? And then I can go. No, yeah, North Carolina civil rights trail. Okay. So what do I need for my application? How do I apply? So let's just make it a little bit more clear, uh, Madam President, if we could. I think what needs, I think I understand where Ms. Um, Speller. Speller is going with this. It's a request to work on a marker. And so Ms. Sidbury is the person that has been a, a volunteer to work with her on this. There is a website for the North Carolina State Markers. That's where you would need to go to. And when you download that application, it will tell you all the material that's needed. I think Ms. Speller has in her an idea of where she thinks it should go, and, and it should go where Dr. Eaton lived, worked, where he had his um, march or whatever you want to call it in the vicinity. And we're going to, I think we want to create the 
recreate the civil rights trail. In other words, it was one, uh, but there's no designation there to indicate such. And so I think offline, Ms. Sidbury needs to get with Ms. Speller in this application because we're getting ready to talk about that again. We talked about Tanya Benetton's project that's also on the agenda. It's the same process, but it's something that the city has to bless um, and work through with the state of North Carolina. If that's what the commission, um, and it sounds like to me the commission is okay with that, um, I think we need to send Ms. Sidbury off to do the due diligence and the involved because it's not a, it's not a, it's not a cut and dry paste process. It's, it's fill out the application, collect the data, do the research, get the map, get what you're looking at very online, and that all has to be included in the application. But it is, it is on the state of North Carolina's website. And I don't mind helping with that, but um, it's not a quick and easy process, and it has to have a letter of support from this commission. The deadline for this process for the application for the 2021 is October the 31st. It's, it's might as well say it's passed because I think they've done all the ones they were going to do because they had so many details over from last year that they're just starting. They have, the state has no money for this. Um, they didn't have so many dollars to make the plaques and the signs that need to go up. So I, I wouldn't think you try, I don't think it'll get done by October 31st, um, but I think it's something you can start on and then go ahead and present, and then they'll approve or disapprove. Um, and they'll... Uh -huh. Did Ms. Felder, um, did Ms. Feller already say that she started the application process? Ms. Feller, I don't yes. know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I, she had uh, already I haven't started submitted anything. Process. Yeah, I haven't submitted anything because, uh, you know, I first needed to get clearance uh, from the city, you know, and support from the commission and any other uh, organization that would like to participate, you know, uh, for... Uh, educational purpose uh, for our city, as well as, um, you know, honor, you know, of the family and uh, neighbors, community who uh, lived and made those sacrifices uh, during uh, the time of the civil rights uh, struggle. So um, I haven't submitted anything uh, to the state. I have reviewed uh, the application and was checking off, you know, what is uh, needed uh, for the um, the Civil Rights Trail. So, uh, well, I, I do have a question. Um, can you explain a little bit about what the Civil Rights Trail is? Because when you say Civil Rights Trail, I'm thinking that this is something that is already a, a trail of, you know, um, African Americans who have contributed to history. So there's a trail. Is that correct? Off? Okay. All right. Uh, and that trail was selected, uh, I guess, by the state. I'm not sure, but the tra what I do know that all states. Uh, not all cities are are not eligible. There were some cities, and Wilmington was one of the cities that was selected. Okay. So mm -hmm. at one point time, since the, all of this is just for information purposes, then Ms. Kamika would work with Ms. Fella, and then we, I, I, I'm hoping by our next meeting, we can kind of you know, vote and say that we, the Commission on African American History, are in support of this and have the letter done and everything that's needed. Does that sound about accurate? Yes, ma'am. A letter, yes, a letter of support and uh, a decision of uh, a site. Okay. Is that all right, Miss? Okay, Sidbeer. Um, what um, what needs to be placed in the letter of support? Do you guys have a template, or is there a certain criteria? I think before you, once you look at that application, it will be clear. I think you need to see the application, um, and it tells you what needs to meet the criteria and go in the letter that you're wishing to draft on behalf of the commission. 
I think you yeah. need to see the application first. The completed application or the blank application? Either one, because it sounds like to me it needs to be completed. Miss Keller started it, but she didn't finish it. So I think it needs to be. She says she's missing a site location. I mean, I have the application right here. Okay. But keep in mind, the next meeting, we as a commission need to vote on whether or not this is going to be a project we undertake and then the letter of support. Right. Yes. I understand. I understand. Okay. I understand. Well, it, okay. It, so, anything uh, else? May I, uh, may I clear, clarify that? I just want to kind of get in in my head what you all uh, will do after this. Uh, you all will will make take a vote as to whether you will be uh, participating. Is this what you're saying? And then a site. So we okay. don't, once again, we don't have enough members here to, to vote on anything this afternoon. So at our next meeting, what is expected is that we take a vote to clarify that this is going to be a project we take on, that's number one, and then make sure that we have that letter of support to go along with the application. Okay. Does that work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to offer to us this afternoon, Ms. Bella? Um. So your next meeting is when? It, no, will, be, it will be the October. first. Yes, ma'am. The first Monday in October. Same time. October four. October four. So, and so you will contact me. Yeah, well. I will, I'll send you, you the, the same way I sent you today. Um, <clears throat> sent you the link and stuff. I'll send you the mm -hmm. way. Yeah, but y'all okay. will be communication before then, correct? Ms. Sidberry? Kamika? Yes. I should okay. have yes. I, I just um, want to make sure things. everybody's understanding what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Ms. Bella. We appreciate you. And thank you all. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now 434. Um, let's see. And, um, can we go back to the beginning with Miss um, Sylvia doing the roll call? Because I see some names or I don't recognize. Let me see. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that is, oh, shoot. RT, R uh, no, not RT, Dylan. No, no, yeah. I'm not talking about that. Dylan There's one cool. that says lead, L-E-E-D. Dylan. Dylan. That's Sylvia. No, and that's Dylan. Lead is Dylan. Okay, don't count Dylan. R E T A P S Y L. That's Miss Sylvia. Sylvia. That's me. Okay. So we still have Mr. Raymond, Miss Sylvia, Mr. Black, Miss Sidberry, and myself. Five members? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And Okay. The new member. I don't see the new member. The newest member. No. Okay. Okay. Um, still missing somebody. Atiba. I got Atiba, Tasha, and the new member are absent. Is that correct? That is correct. That would be eight. Yeah, but you should have nine. Okay. I'll, I'll check it out. And I have Ms. Sylvia connected. Let's see if I can. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, Evelyn, we can um, go back to the beginning of the agenda if you like. I think we're good. Okay, so Ms. Uh, Sylvia, well, we still can't do roll call, right? I think we did it. <laughs> right, Ms. Sylvia? Uh, yes, I can do it. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Okay, Willie Black. Present. Uh, Evelyn Bryant. Present. Raymond Davis. Here. Uh, Sylvia's here. Um, Atiba Johnson. Tasha, Tasha Thomas. Kamika Sibbera. Yes, yeah, she's here. Present. Anika Williams. Okay. So your three absent is Atiba, Tasha Thomas, and Miss Williams? Yes. So Evelyn, you can proceed at five. I think your last, your ninth person is vacant. Okay. Um, so updates on projects. Um, I'll turn it over to you. You want to do your minutes? Oh, I'm, I apologize. Um, approval of the minutes from August 2nd. Has everyone had an opportunity to read over their minutes? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. Can I get a motion for approval? Can we approve them? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. I'll make a motion to approve them. I second it. A motion has been moved and properly second. Are there any questions? If not, all in favor, please note by saying aye. 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 Any nays? If no, so approved. Uh, old business, updates on projects. Um, Mr. Black. Okay, for the for the uh, 1406 marker, um, I had a meeting with uh, Jeff Walton, um, who's um, who's with the city, the associate planner at the city, and uh, Ivy, who I can't think of her last name, but um, we were on a conference call together, and um, and they were suggesting that the next step for the application uh, process is to um, is to get an in-depth study and report on the historical and cultural significance of the property. So they suggested that we reach out to um, to Beverly Tetterton in reference to um, to getting that report. So uh, this is where we're at at that moment. At this moment. So uh, Penny. You, you said you were going to reach out to um, Ms. Tetterton? Yeah, I will give. Um, I did try her last week, Willie. I didn't get a response. They do a lot of traveling. So mm -hmm. I will try to reach out to Beverly. Beverly Tetterton is retired from the uh, county library. She's mm -hmm. a historian. And she um, does this kind of thing for a living. Um, but we're hoping that she will volunteer um, to do it the city uh, as a goodwill type project. Um, this project or this process, um, and I think Willie can attest to this, takes about two years to get done. Um, mm -hmm. That was done, it took two years and a couple thousand dollars that the applicants had to pay for a historian to do the historical significance that's needed to make this um, a success. I will say that I have spoken to um, my mind went blank. The house owner <laughs> um, several times, and he is really wanting to move. Lenny Simpson, he's really wanting mm -hmm. to move this thing quickly. He's got an event coming up the first of October, if I'm not mistaken, where he's going to have a well-known author doing a book signing at this location. Mm -hmm. um, I told him we'll do. We're, you're working on it, Willie. Um, we only can do what we can do, but it's a process that I think Jeff and Ivy 
is to his new historic preservationists. They think that in order for this to not have so many stumbling blocks, we need to check the box on getting this historical study done because when it leaves um, up, will leave this commission, it goes to the HPC and then on to the city council. Um, so I told Willie I'd help him reach out to Beverly Chatterton to see if she would be able to do this, um, this study that needs to be done. That's my report. Okay, thank you, Mr. Black and Ms. Penny Spicer Seabury. Are there any questions or comments? If none, moving on to number B or letter B, partnership with North Carolina African American Heritage Commission. And I've reached out um, and I apologize. I, I originally sent out an email to one person who I had been in contact with and I noticed that it was someone, the director herself. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting on a response. And once I get that, um, I'd like to invite them to our meeting if, if, you know, if they can do that. If not, I'll just get information and bring it back as needed. Any questions, comments? You're thinking about inviting them to your October meeting, Evelyn? Yes, ma'am, if I can, if, if their time permits, yes. Um, I just want to add that the commission got an invitation from the African American Heritage Commission um, for an event that's coming up. And I will scan this in. It's in Kinston, North Carolina, um, where they are doing an event marking the past, propelling the future. Um, very colorful. Um, it's a, from 5.30 to 7.30. It's free. It's open to the public. This is the first event I think they've had as a um, African American Heritage Commission. But I will send it scan it in and send it out to all the commission members and anyone's interested in attending this event. And what date is that? It is September, it's Saturday, September 25th from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, it's in Kinston, North Carolina. Um, it's at the concert and music in the park. So it's going to be outside, but I'll, I'll send it out to you guys. Okay. Part, it's part of the um, the Green Book series that okay. they're doing this for. So I'll, I'll send it out. All right. Uh, next, the status and request of Sonia Patrick. Mr. Willie Black, do you have any information on that? Um, I have as much information as you do, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> But at the moment, at the moment, we're still waiting on you know a meeting with Miss Patrick. So, uh, Penny, were we going to set up another separate meeting? Um, Evelyn, Evelyn um, said she was going to call her last week. Okay. Did you call her last week, Evelyn? I, I did, and we were playing phone tag. I said okay. I'd reach out again. Um, can I can I tell you what I know? <laughs> Can I tell you what I know? Can you enlighten everyone on what's happening? Okay, so so this North Carolina highway marker, historical marker, is something that Sonia Benetton took upon herself and went through the state of North Carolina, did the application packet, worked with some folks, um, New Hanover County Black Caucus, I think is what her group is called, uh, about a year or so ago, and the state granted the marker. And so she reached out to the commission because she wants the city to now take it from there and coordinate a program of such. So Evelyn and Willie as the subcommittee chair and I set up a meeting uh, with her so we can get some questions answered. What does the program look like? What is the expectation from the commission and the city? And let her know that the commission was interested in working with her on getting this done. Since this has happened, this has all been tied into an 1898 celebration, the 123rd anniversary of 1898. Linda Raleigh, who is with the county's diversity office, has taken the lead on trying to do a weeks of celebration um, the first week of October. And Sonia's 
marker showed up on their calendar. And so she's got it on their calendar, plus she has it on the commission's calendar to get this done. So I reached out, we had the meeting set up. Sonia did not um, chime in. She said that it was a miscommunique, yada, yada, yada. And so in the meantime, she sends a letter to Linda Raleigh saying um, to mark out, to add the 1898 Commemoration Committee and herself as being the sponsor for this marker celebration. And I sent a note to Willie and copied her, which Willie sent to her on some questions and some clarity that you all that we needed. And her th big thing was because it was a state marker, and I may be paraphrasing here, Willie, correct me, but since it was a state marker, the city didn't have a whole lot to be worried about, except for show up and do what we need for you to do. Mm -hmm. It is a state marker, but it's being placed on city property. All the state does is make the markers, grant yes or no about the markers. I did pick up the phone and call the person in charge of the markers, Ansley, who confirmed what I already knew, which is all they do is make the markers. The marker has been made. It's been shipped to uh, DOT locally. Um, DOT has to reach out to my engineering folks and my traffic folks because it is going on city property um, at, I want to say it's third in Red Cross. <laughs> um, and third and Red Cross and for it to go there there's some things that we have to do as a city so I sent all that in an email to Miss Sonia and I talked then Raleigh called me we talked and it was clear that this is something the commission needed to be the driving force behind Sonia did send a note uh, a couple of days ago to say that she would wait to reschedule and have another meeting with Mr. Willie and Miss Evelyn and myself, which we have not been able to connect just yet. Yes. Since then, something else has happened. Um, <laughs> it keeps growing. Ben Chavis and um, the NWA Reverend Barber are coming to Wilmington for this event. And they're speaking at different um, venues. One's going to speak at St. Luke. Another one will speak at, do a processional of a celebration in uh, honor of someone who passed away that was significant as part of this 1898. To tie it in after the unveiling of this marker, there's a business on 4th Street who has said, once the event is over, that you all can host a reception on the rooftop of this business. Again, that would come under the Commission on African American History. The county has reached back out to the city and said they want to include our Commission on African American History with the county's Commission on African American History, and then all of us work in collaboration together with Sonia and Deborah Maxwell, NAACP, um, to host this week of activities. That costs of $7,000. $3,500 from the county, $3,500 from the city. And the county has said, yes, they would do it. The city said, my city manager said, we would commit to the funding, but we need to run it underneath the umbrella of the Commission on African American History. But all is tying in. Um, we really need, you all need to understand who's, who is hosting this event, mm -hmm. who the MC is for this event, who is on the guest list for this event, um, and who is responsible for this event. Yes, Sonia did the work. Did a, did a wonderful job getting the certification, but she's not the driving force and the person that's going to be out front with hosting. It'll be you, the commission, if that makes any sense. And I'll be happy to stop there, um, answer any questions or clarify if I have not been clear. Um, but I need to make sure that you all knew what you were committing to and what your name is signed up for. So, okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do like three different meetings. So there is an event that's being proposed that you it's an ask right now. It's not a sign up. Signed off on anything, correct? No, you've already signed off on working with her on the under yeah. of the marker. That's done. The marker, yeah, that's what her and Mr. Willie are working on. Right, which is done. The marker's coming. It's the final finalization of the actual program. Yeah, working, yeah, working on the, the program. Mm -hmm. 
in so the we will be in charge of doing the program and the reception. We yes. yes. So the seven thousand dollars, which the county's paying half, and we're paying the other half. What is that in county? That is for the uh, Reverend Barber and Ben Chavis, who's coming to town as speakers for other programs that's being put together from the city side and the county side. So, and I think did I got we it. agree on that part also. We did not agree on that part because we didn't know about that part. That's what I'm saying. So how is it that the city commission that we didn't agree or we didn't know? I'm not saying that. I love Reverend Barbara Jeff. I'm not saying that. It's nothing about it. However, where is the... If there is money for this, and when all of us are asking for one time with some gift cards for some kids... Where's can't pay for gift cards, but go ahead. Okay. So what are we paying? What are we paying for with this thirty five hundred dollars? So that's what I, I guess that's the where city. I'm the city is paying for speaker fees, which is Barbara and Chavis, hotel for Barbara and Chavis, and airfare for Barbara and Chavis. But they were already coming, correct, for other events for other people. No, mm -mm, no. This is part Maybe of this I'm event. not understanding. If this is not an event that we, let, okay, let, maybe I'm, I'm maybe let, I'm mistaken. Let, let me clarify something. Okay. So this is all a part of the 1898 observance remembrance, and so there was those who were already in the midst of solidifying some things. And so the county just wrapped around. And because we were asked by Sonia to contribute or to help with hers, all of that fell under the same umbrella. So what I just did, I sent everyone a list of each events. It's just a brief program outline of each events and the days the events are on. So it's, I think it's a week of events. And, and like she said, is the uh, roof, rooftop reception done by Monteith Construction, who got the equity award from the county. And I think that um, I'm, I, I try to look at everything in a positive manner. Yes, we were kind of wrapped in at the last minute on the tail end, but that's all fine, well and good, because hopefully as we move forward now, when we talk about doing historical events or doing events, we can collaborate with other organizations in a positive together way. Um, but, but this is just a scenario of how, you know, hopefully in the future we can, you know, be a part of the creation of events. So I understood when you say, well, we weren't a part of it in the beginning. No, but now we are. And hopefully next year we'll be on that steering committee. No, I'm not. This, this, no, that's not what I'm saying. I, I the beginning part, because anybody can create ideas and everything else. But as a committee, did we decide? We didn't. I mean, we, is it a committee? The committee paying, or just the city of Wilmington paying? And I think that's first of all. First of all your the city money because no, we don't money. have any budget correct we don't have right. any that's yeah, correct that's yeah, what right. i'm saying that's correct yeah and so that's exactly that. and if you need something covered for funding you just make the request and then i go and figure out where to get money from but you don't have a, a power no, we don't have a budget that's that's why i'm just trying to nothing so it still don't make sense but okay it doesn't make sense. Okay, yes, I have to go. <laughs> no, I have to so, go. Because so. it's like all this was happening, but and so I apologize. And I'm not trying to take anybody. Okay. Willie was saying okay. something. Okay. He said he I had, had to go. go. Oh, I've got to go. I've got to sign off. I'll see you guys. All right. I'll call you, Willie. Okay. So, Ms. Penny, thank you for that update. Are there any questions on that update? Date for this, your proposal. 
What so I, like I said, I just sent out a list of events mm -hmm. for this observance and Sonia's um, Sonia's event should be on there. Yeah. So all the events should be on there. So if there's nothing else from that, we'll move on to new business rather quickly. Um, Ms. Penny, do you want to talk about Gregory Congregational Church? Um, yes, I can come back to you off of your email. I'm sorry. Um, Gregory Congregational Church pastor called um, and said that he was working on, or he had had some folks from the community inquire about an African-American museum. And that's been a discussion for um, a couple different groups, but he didn't know if you all wanted him to come and do a presentation or if the commission was interested in working with them on setting up an African-American museum. I think this is something that um, years ago, Kenny Davis tried to work on. I think Ms. Speller, who y'all heard earlier was trying to work on it. She does have a museum at her house. Um, that Atiba and Glancy Thomas at the time worked with getting that set up. Um, so I think very similar idea, um, but he said that they have a lot of history that they could put together to create this music. But if you all want to submit something in writing or we'll come talk to you about it, we can do that too. So I guess uh, we need to decide on whether or not we would like to hear him come to our meeting or if uh, we want a report in writing. Any questions, comments around that? <coughs> No questions, comments. I heard somebody say something. I said that he can come because I mean I don't know the format. I don't know if it's like what kind of museum is it? How is he going to set up? What is it going to be? just a one-time museum? Is it going to be something that is going to be stationary? Is it going to be something that is so the questions have to be asked, but you can't. It's gonna be stationary at Gregory Congregational Church. Um he said he is a grant writer, so he could have write grants to make it an museum. He's not thinking this is a one-time thing. He's thinking of it setting up and go forward and that he would take responsibility, his church would, for making sure about the funding. Okay, so he wants to present for support, correct? Mm -hmm. what, how does he envision what the museum will look like? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm asking could he come so he can give his vision of what this will look like because there's many types of museums. That that's fine. I just needed to get the consensus of the group. That's all. So is everyone okay with her him coming to would it be our October meeting? It's up to you guys. You just need to tell me so I can extend the invitation. You already got Miss Spell coming back on the October meeting. Right. And and I wanted to uh oh and the state people. Right. Throw this out. Um Pine Forest Cemetery is also wanting to um attend one of our meetings to kind of talk about how we can collaborate with them when it comes to history and projects that they um, maybe purposing for the future. So I who's, I, per, who's the person at Pine Forest Cemetery? Uh, right now, I'm not specifically sure, but I know that uh, Dr. Lee Monroe was the one who brought it up to me. So maybe um, Dr. Lee Monroe would fit on the same line with Gregory Congregational since this historical, you, you know. That's fine. I, right. I just didn't want to make our, because we are at 501 now, make our agenda more than what it needs to be. 
um, because so we don't we don't meet in December, do we? No, ma'am. You just okay. meet. So in October, you have um, uh, Speller and the African American state people, and then in November, you can have Gregory Congregation in Pine Forest. Right. I can set it up that way if that's what y'all want. I, I would think that that would work a little bit better. Okay. Okay. It is that okay for everyone else? Mr. Davis, yes, is that what? Right. Yes. Ms. Sidberry? That's good. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Gotcha. All right. I'll do it. Well, thanks everyone. Uh, is there any announcements, any thing that we need to know about locally? I mean, um, if anybody has any comments or clarification that's needed after they look at what Evelyn has sent out uh, from the county, please let me know. If you look on there, you'll see the commission's name is um, tied to some other events where you may not have been a part of the planning, but you are part of the host, so you will be invited um, to be in attendance. And then I'll need to reach out and get information because I definitely don't have any information on the rooftop reception. Because if you notice on there, I think Linda said that there will be tickets that would need to be given out because they only can have so many people. Um, I'd like to know who's driving the invitation list because um, if we didn't part of that planning, we need to kind of jump in now and add whatever we want to happen um, from a city standpoint. If that makes any sense to you guys. Sounds good. I'll reach out. So the only, okay, so the only event is the Sonia Benetton uh, marker one and the reception. So which events are we looking at? You are, you are a responsible commission of the Sonia Benetton project which is the historical marker, and then the rooftop reception, and the other events that your name is commission is co-sponsoring is um, Reverend Barbara Speech and Ben Chavis, those people. But the but the planning and need to really be is the unveiling of the historical marker and the rooftop reception. And and just to let everyone know, there okay. are. For volunteers, but twelve, my nine. I have to work. You got to work what day? Um, on a Wednesday, November the tenth, at twelve o'clock. You know, is that this, is that the Sonya marker? That is the rooftop reception, immediate okay. their commission, the, American history. The marker that is that Dr. is Sir, Dr. Kirk State marker ceremony is at ten. Time. That'll be your lunch hour. We're right over there by your school, so you could come over on your lunch hour. No. <laughs> I, 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 won't. I know you, I know you both. I'll, I'll, send I won't. A, I'll send an email to your boss. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones. That's the that, but this is, this is all I'm saying. All I'm saying is when things are planned, like I work, like some consideration of things and now, this, keep in mind that like, that event, these, keep in mind that that's that all November, I'm saying. The November 10th event is not a surprise. That has been on your calendar over a year, but y'all didn't start getting into the planning of it into the last couple of months. But that one is definitely not a surprise for, for this commission. That, that Sonia Benetton one is that's not a surprise. surprise for me, and maybe not for the commission. It's not a surprise, you just didn't want to. Be it's a surprise. And so this is just nothing. I'm going to leave it alone. Now, I don't agree. I'm going to agree to disagree and keep moving on. Y'all have a wonderful Because hey, 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 uh, I don't agree with I don't agree. <laughs> and so, but I'm going to move on. It's always going to be one person in the bunch. There ain't one person. <laughs> Some days I might have two or three personalities. <laughs> so, <laughs> there might be three people. Service. I'm on Kamika's side. <laughs> Look, thank you, Miss Sylvia. Boom, bam. Yeah. I knew somebody else. Rain, make yeah. a moan and join over here. But I don't right. agree, Miss Sylvia. This ain't right. 
commit like him himself. Him. Yeah. That, that is why I said what I did initially because I did feel the same way. But we're at a point now. You know, it's about unity and working together. So. It's not, but it, it may be about unity and working together, but I don't feel like stuff should be forced down your throat. And so that's just it. And it's a difference. And so you don't, you do not it's want, kinda, you do not want to have another conversation with Deborah Maxwell that complained. That no, wait, you, this is a recording. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying so, is. So the time now is 5.07. <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. I'm done. I'm just saying that I wish that it was just more consideration. Like, I do want to take part, but just understanding, okay, let me mark these dates or let me plan for this. Or any of us could take part in these events. But it's just like, okay, well, this is being had. Or this person is being, or, you know, just having a little bit more part. I guess that's what I'm thinking. So just the next time, if we could just do better, that would be great. We'll pass it on to whomever. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll make sure that the parties who know that are informed. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> so the, right. next, the time now is 5.08. If all, right. all hearts and minds are clear now. Thank you, Miss Sylvia. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> And yeah. I'm going to, Evelyn, I'm going to send your new member a letter because I promise. three consecutive meetings. Okay. All right. Thank um, y'all. Have a good evening. Well, okay. I do have All one right. question, Ms. Penny. Are we in transition to put someone else in that vacancy? Because now I remember there was a vacancy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. yeah. We don't have any applications on file, though. So okay. I'm still soliciting, but we don't have any applications on file. So if y'all see anybody who would work well in that seat, let us know. And Miss yeah. Sylvia, while I noticed in your minutes you thought you were done, but while your term is expiring, we do want you to continue to serve until we can find some people. Until September 30th, okay? No, ma'am. Just until it's gonna be past October 30th. So don't be so don't be so quick to run to the finish line. I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sylvia. You're welcome. Y'all have well, a good evening. Y'all have a great right. afternoon. I'll call this meeting adjourned. Okay. Thanks. All right. Okay. Thank y'all.